Uh, I'm Carlos Salver. Um, I'm Actus, and I'm director of the Open Latana Company from, I think, uh, seven years. Uh, the Open Latana is a group with dance and theater, and then um, we do the development theater. But our um, professional theater is a conventional theater, theater for the stage. Yeah. Okay. There is no formal theater education in Mozambique. No. So how how are you educated? Uh, we depending of the workshops. We do many workshops of the people from Europe and Africa. Uh, for me, I started the workshop with the people from Finland. Then come people from Denmark, Peter Slotmatsen. Um, Austria, German, and Africa, and then we, when the, when we have this workshop, we're learning more about theater. Where uh, you've been in Europe as well? In, I know in Portugal. Uh, yes, so in Portugal, in Denmark, and Austria, and German, and Africa, uh, South Africa, Swaziland, Botswana. How did the people from Austria find you? Uh, we have a contact with uh, Peter Slotmatsen. You? <laughs> and then from you, email. I, I don't know, I think from your side, uh, one woman from Austria uh, get you, your, your contact and see our project in your, in your site of uh, Peter. Huh? And then she sent a message for me. Uh, she told me I, I should like to go to, Mo to come to Mozambique. What we can do? And then I said, okay, maybe we can change experience. No, uh, I give the idea to make a performance, Romeo and Juliet. Collaborate Romeo and Juliet with the um, technique of Europe and the technique of Africa. And then she said, okay, we can do this, but uh, now we have not money. You have to find money, and I will try to find in my country. Okay, she in Europe is very easy to find money for big project. She was the first, and then she get um, money, and then okay, she comes here, and then we select the artists from many groups. We host 22 artists, and then we prepare Romeo and Juliet was a very nice uh, project and nice performance. We went to Austria, we made uh, about uh, eight performance. It was very nice. We opened the festival. I don't know, they call it Dono Festival. We opened this festival. What did you do in Denmark? You went there in March 2006. In Denmark, I went there for the conference, uh, but we went to the school, the school, the children theater school. We changed the experience with a group of uh, Lebanon uh, uh, from Nepal, uh, Denmark, Lebanon, and then other, uh, uh, more. Uh, we stay in the school three days, starting changing experience, make exercise, many things, and then we start more about it. And then sometimes we go to see the performance in the school with the artists from Denmark. And then we, we saw how we can do the tears for the children, how we can uh, tell the story, many things, important things. But uh, uh, in the conference was the important uh, uh, Think for us because we have collaborated today. We have collaborated mean, with many artists from from another country because in the conference we know people, and then now we have uh, people from uh, Theatre Embassy. This is a big uh, organization theater. Uh, they collaborate with us now. 
and then sometimes they, they, they give us the more projects to know what, what we can do, where we can go to change more experience. My colleague Anastasia is a teacher. She was in Denmark with me and then she will make a plan for how can go to the school to do this performance. I should like to make a performance like one artist I saw, I saw there, I saw there. He, yes, he telling the story to the children. He has a nice technique to make the children understand everything with the um, movements, uh, slow speaking, um, good way to, 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 to make the children understand the stories about the books. You don't have this kind of theater here originally. Mm. Uh, no, because uh, uh, in Maputo it's difficult to have this yet now. But uh, sometimes the, we have a group called Faishka. They make the puppet theater. Yeah, for the puppet theater we have. But uh, to telling the story like uh, the theater is so in Denmark, here we have not. And then it's a good way. It's not expensive. It's a very, very simple uh, way to telling the story to the children, but yes, it's a, it's a big job because you have to work too much to uh, get the nice technique to transmit for the children. And the traditional theatre here in Mozambique, you don't have this kind of theatre for children, in traditional theatre? No, traditional theatre we have not here, for children, no. But in North, maybe, maybe, I don't know well, maybe we have a group, but it's not a traditional theater for the children, no. No, it's more for grown-ups. Yeah. yeah. Who supports theater in Mozambique? <sighs> this question is very difficult, because in Mozambique we, we have not a, a culture to support theater. All groups depend on the ONGs, if the ONG is possible to give some money, but it's not, it's not so easy. Yeah. We depend more of the ONGs when we have a project, no? Yeah. Uh, for our group, Pangalatana, we depend more and more from, the, from the, project of, uh, the project from Europe, not the project from here. We just did it one. This project was for... Um, for alert the people about uh, our um, Gorongosa Park. Mm, natural park. Natural park, yes, yeah. because the park was going down and then we make a theater to alert the people. We have to do something to take this uh, up. It was a big project, this okay, this, the government was um, supporting. But the cultural minister here. No, the cultural they don't minister. Have we have no money for support yet. But we have good relation with our government uh, minister of culture because they help us for all documentation. We have not difficult for this. Everything we want to to get some things. When we go to minister, we have good relation. The, our minister do this, but money for the theater, no, no. You do professional art theatre, but you also use your art in theatre for development. Mm -hmm. um, is, it important, is it important to be a good actor to work with theatre for development? Yes, is because theatre for development, we make more investigation uh, to collaborate with audience. Like for theatre, is very nice, no? Uh, interactive theater is a very the theater for development uh, give us more idea to investigation about theater and how connect with the people and how we can uh, see that people is getting the message or no mm. yes because we have to create more and more plain to disseminate the message yeah this the place you're talking about now is the four plays you developed in 2005 mm -hmm. with, uh, with me. Mm -hmm. uh, 
these four places about stigmatization and, and violence domestic violence, violence yes, test, the HIV test, and sexual abuse. Sexual abuse in the schools. And you still use these places now. For two years, you've been using these places with it, support from, from Denmark originally, but now you sell the place for. For the ONGs, yeah. This was a big project and a very nice project because open open to us many doors and then many people this 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 project was very nice for us in Mozambique because now we have a collaboration with many ONGs. The ONGs knows our groups. They buy our performance, you no. Know? This performance give us money to, to live sometimes you now. It was very interesting the way we started the, the project, calling the people to help us about the store. For example, to do the teacher's project, the teacher's performance, we have to call the teachers to come and to help us. But in the conventional theater, we don't use this, this, this kind of um, uh, this form ne? to this call research. Yes. Now with this theater, we we learning. We have to go to the place to know what the people doing, how they live, what they want, and then we take this to the stage. The first we make investigation to the community, and then we come. We use the, this material for to 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 connect very well with them when we go to. To performance. And now you work with support from Ibis. Yes. You're continuing to show your plays in schools. And yes. These four plays, and you also developed a new play. Ah, uh, now we are. Yeah, yeah. Now we do a new play, and then we think we will. When we perform this, I think we will learn more because we will see the difficult. Every time when we 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 we, we do some some performance, we see. What is difficult to um, to disseminate more the information? We speak about this problem, actual problem in Mozambique. The teachers use the students to set to do sex, you no, know? and then in our performance is a conflict with the student and the teachers. Mm. Mm. This is a common problem in Mozambique. Yes, this is a big problem now. This is a big problem. Everybody speak about this. It's a, it's a actual uh, problem. How can the Mozambican artists collaborate better with NGOs in the future? I don't know. We have to study how can collaborate because the collaborate is not uh, strong. Why I say it's not strong because. Uh, um, many ONGs, I think they don't they don't know how can collaborate with good artists, you no. Know? And then uh, we have many groups here, many groups, but it's not uh, professional groups. It's important to have many groups to develop, uh, but uh, I think it's important to collaborate with the professional artists. I think the ONGs have to. Uh, to control more the project of uh, theater. They have to see every time what is happening in the theater. Because I think they have not control this. Just they say, okay, we have theater, okay, yes, good, good, good. But it's important to control what, uh, why, what we have, no? To see the performances, to yes, control the quality it, of yes, the performances. Yes, like, uh, like you do with EPIS, no? Sometimes you come to from from Denmark and you come to see the quality of what we do. You no, know, is important is for developing. We just did a conference about theater for development here mm -hmm. in Maputo in the French Culture Center. Mm -hmm. What did you find there? So we have to get we have to have one artist organization because we have the. Uh, Artist organization, but this is not the artist organization for artists. It's one ONG who support one project, no? And then this is not good for artists. We have we have to have one 
ONG for artists to be develop our theater. And this NGO should be made by the artists. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then this, this this conference was very nice because this alerted the artist to make more conference. Mm -hmm. How did how did Danish culture support develop your art? Uh, Danish culture support our projects, no, and then um, for us it's interesting to know uh, in the world have one organization like 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 this, no. I say thanks for 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 for, for this CD. <laughs> it was very important for us. What is your? Do you have any dreams, dreams and hopes for the future of your theatre? Yes, Jim, we have because now about this workshop we we get about this workshop we did it with other people from other countries. We open the minds, and then our mind now is open. We we should like to do many kind of theatre investigate more. We invent more kind of theatre. I remember now, uh, last, uh, uh, I think, uh, five, uh, four months ago, yes, four months ago, I teaching a group, I teaching for do the theater, for theater. But during the practice with the people, we see, uh, we get one problem, like for the people on the market. You know, our market is not a formal market. It's a, informal market. And then we, 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 we sit down and how we can do forum for the people in the market because the people is busy and then of some of them don't like to listen more about HIV, how we can do the theater for the spirit, all these people in the market. We sit down, when I, the time I teaching the guys, you know, I tell them what we can do. And then this time we find new way, you know, we invent another way to, 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 to adapt with our, uh, our style of life, you no? Know? Because we have a different style with, uh, with other people from Europe, you no? Know? Then how we can do to adapt our, to adapt our way to, to disseminate, uh, the, disseminate the information for these people. And then we find some some strategic, you know, and then this is our dream to find more idea to disseminate the information for our people here. Okay. Thank you very much, Carlos. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure. Okay, thank <laughs> you.